Hello, it's Hannah, and welcome back to Heta X, End of the World. When we last left off, we found out that Alistair planned on Alfred coming to the second world. He's sacrificing that Oliver wants to sacrifice, and that happens to just be America. Now, Alfred... So now, America... So, England's pretty upset. Right now, we're trying to locate Japan, and we are with America, his, uh, Japan's wife, I guess. I don't know what to call her. Japan's wife. And Oliver trying to find Japan, because now there's two people hurt. And we are in a cathedral, where there are ghosts. We also met Greece, who's insomniac. There's a note on the wall. Some of the letters came out, but you read. Schedule. Gisela, Monday, th Tuesday, Friday, Olympus, Wednesday, Thursday. Someone, Saturday, Sunday. Galicia's Diary. F one of three. Finished my work today to early prepare. All the patients here are well. They're all happy to be part of this event. But the real fun begins tomorrow. It's her wedding after all. I just hope to no one disturbs a stay. God watches all. Locked. Locked. It's really dark inside. Going in blind is a foolish thing to do. Our lantern is empty, though. Let's see if we can find things to light our way. It looks like this is some sort of fountain, to be honest. But okay. New. Some sort of library. The Little Mermaid found a key to the piano room. Under the sea is not a place for me. Chef's Diary. Some people came to see the wedding. I'll have to try to make the best feast. But God, little boy. The little boy from the choir. Stop hiding my thing. Seriously, how am I going to cut these carrots into flowers without my small knife? And he hasn't even given the spare key to the piano room back to father. Probably hid it in a fairy tale book or something. Uh oh. So a wedding was happening. Huh? Can't open this door. It's like the handle doesn't want to move at all when I try to shake it. Just save this door for last. Locked. One of these rooms have to be the piano room. Open the piano room. Be quiet. When listening, it's an old piano. There has to be a reason this place is locked. 
Your small knife under the piano sheets. Take it? Yes. Tain small knife. Well, we can go back to the kitchen. There has to be something. Maybe, like... Oh, there's a lantern. It's a lantern, but it's empty. We need something to start a fire and something flammable material. Yes. Actually, what's that? You can use it to keep. Chef's best tool. I haven't seen anything that says we need to cut it. I guess the only real reason to come here was to get make sure you had like the information on the chef's knife. There has to be something with this room. There's no wool inside this pillow. A pillow. Let's cut it out and then take the wool out. Take wool. So we need something to start the fire now. The window is broken. Is it put yes. Maybe I have to set it down. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it. Or perhaps I just need to have all the stuff in the inventory. Okay, now we can light a fire with the flint and these things. Let's be careful, okay? There's a maze, but there's a box over here, so we, that's probably where we need to be. Revival. My brain's like, it's a rival potion. How's the potion rival? Whiskey. Ah, 
high potion. Painting of a beautiful woman. Ooh, that looks like France. Oh, are you hearing that? Looks like this place is out and off drop. Makes me more confused. Why did they come here for? I don't see anything here. Maybe it's that big chest. Not these. These are crates. Hey, don't just let go of my hand like that. Oliver, Camira, where, where are they? Papers, scattered papers on the floor. There are drawings of them from child scribbles to beautiful portraits. Someone's diary. How long have I been down here? Ever since I'm two, the basement's been my only world. My mother died to give birth to me. On top of that, the seer said the moment I was born, I had carried misfortune to the world. The only, there are only reasons why my father, why my father locked me down here. Frankly, I don't blame him for that. I took away the, his most loved one. That's a proof enough for my existence. I did at first, but it doesn't matter now. I've decided crying is useless. I don't think he killed me right away, so that's a blessing. Servants are very kind to me. They taught me how to read, how to write. My father doesn't even come down here once. He doesn't care about that they're helping me. But orders are orders. They can't let me out. I lost count how many times I wanted to go out and see the world. Maybe someday I'll have to believe. You sense a presence here. You can feel acceptance, sadness, and hope. There are whispers on the other side of the door. Finally, she's asleep. I thought my, my my break would never come. That girl, she hasn't realized that her father kept her alive because the seer said so. Yeah, that misfortune child would cause more disasters if she was killed. And if she killed herself, that's even worse. The only reason he said we should keep her happy at all times is because... I, I mean, we... The only, that's the only reason he said we should keep her happy at all times. I can't stand being near that stupid girl. Wasn't it you who taught... Weren't you the one who taught her to read and write? I thought you would love her the most. Please, I just happened to have a daughter on my own, so I know how to deal with children. That's why he ordered me to do so. He said it would be a bother if she, she got curious and wanted to escape. Ha! This, that girl thinks we really love her? God had decided to abandon it the moment she appeared. If, as if I would oppose his wish.
No turning back. It's a map of the forest. Hold on. I'm gonna turn on a fan. It's it's like fudging hot. There's a signature here. My first gift to the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Love Epidemus. Two of four. Their friends are not I don't even wanna write about them anymore. So I snuck out today, it's a miracle. A guard dropped his key the other day and I used the clay to print its shape. The only job after that was grinding two pieces of rusty iron from the old window bars. I was free. The first time I saw so many real trees and mountains, the sky so blue, the sun is out there warmer than myself. And I saw a man. He's handsome. I believe that's what people call a man when your heart first soars when you met. He dropped both a book and a map and he, he had in his hands. He paused before asking who I was. I told him I was Pandora. It's not like my name's a mystery to anyone, but he was even more shocked. His face then turned red. I thought he was scared of me like everybody else. I'm afraid he would want me to leave too, but I assured him that I'm fine. With talking at a distance like this, he was relieved. We t And we talked back. He sat near the fences of my home, and I leaned back on the wall. He said he was living quite far from here and he was curious about me he was trying to see what the devil people were, were talking about i look like he chuckled and then said while saying i never thought it would be such a beautiful girl i was happy for the first time someone thought i was beautiful not disgusting he gave me a, a map and waving goodbye he promised to come back and talk more because i can't leave and our signal will be the last bell of the day Near, at the nearby church when night comes and the people are asleep I blushed at his words and left them as he left on his mat I thought he was writing notes not this I look forward to meeting him again history book about Greece inside you see a letter brother I, I know you love to explore places but you must not come near the house of misfortune there's a devil down in the basement I don't want you to be harmed Oh, I can't save. You can hear the words from the other chair. Are you okay with this? This is the first time you're sneaking out this far. I'll bring you back on time, but if anything happens, I'll take full responsibility. Pandora, I know you don't want to hurt me, but it's my wish to help you. I'll bring you far, far away from here and to the place where the map, my map showed you. I know this might sound crazy, but I wouldn't mind spending the rest of my life with you. You feel happiness and hope here basket full of fresh apples beautiful fountain we continued to meet in private he's more comfortable around me but I like to keep my distance like the first time we met I simply fear my misfortune will fall upon him today we boldly climb over the fence and we went to an abandoned garden he said this place he said this place would see the but until then we could sit and enjoy by the still working fountain he brought me some apples that taste better than any meal in my cell. He talked about running away with me. Well, my father doesn't care about me at this point. He has a brother who's already suspicious. He said he loved me. I was so happy. Yet, would I really be fine? Do I want to run away with him? Do I want to live with him? Do I want to build a happy family with him? The answer is always yes. Today, for the first time, I cried in front of him. I felt my his hand on my face wiping the tears away the first time we held hands while walking back to my cell you hear angel shouts and shattered place I told you not to go there and you even met with that devil don't try to lie I know you brought a basket of apples and where is it now that's it the do that devil dared to seduce my brother into hell with her I'll not forgive this Come on, Pandora. We're almost there. Hold on. Pandora's dark. 
This might be the last page of this diary. I'll never forget what happened that day. The first time I heard that morning screaming, the next was the sound of clashing together. Someone yelled, a fire. I clutched the fork in my hand. Suddenly there are bangings on the other side of the door. Pandora, it's me, Impedimus. He came for me. I didn't think twice. I opened the door. We hugged each other. His sleep was painted red. His hair was burnt a little. He said that his brother is the one setting the house on fire. He said his brother wanted to kill me. Apparently, our meeting was discovered and his brother was furious. He grappled the sword and fought those who discovered us on our way out. At that moment, I truly realized, despite my curse, he still loves me. Enough to stand up to his beloved brother. Before I knew it, my little fork had gone to my attacker's arm. I felt terrible that I had to hurt someone. I don't care about safety. I don't care about my safety, but a pedimus does. And I care for him more than anything else. I choose to believe in him. We ran away. Hold on. A sinister flame. So. I'll not leave you here anymore. Pandora, you're not the devil. I'll show you the happiness of the world. Alfred? Alfred! Huh? What? Ow, my head. You scabbed me. What happened? I was in a weird room, and frankly, I don't remember much. Hey, do you need a rest? Your face is so pale. No, no, I'm fine, really. Huh? I got a key in my pocket. Oh, such a pretty key. Where'd you get it? Maybe one of the rooms we searched. My memory's kind of fuzzy right now. Don't push yourself too much. If you feel ill, inform me right away, okay? Okay. I do remember those diary pages, but... It's not like I care to open my mouth and tell him about that. Or I'm just a little tired. reason I'm saving that okay the key doesn't go here there's only one room this key could possibly go to what where did all this blood come from I guess it has something to do with the crying before master Kuro. oh you needed Pandora this is Pandora's story blood I don't know if you remember, but in Pandora's story, there was a bunch of people dying. I think that's what actually happened. Help. Don't. We're just gonna escape. Don't. Abandon me. I hear fire. Wait, is that? Oh, Master! Oh God, no, Master! Stop panicking. He's a country. He won't die. Let's just be careful over there. You. That's the woman in the painting. She's already dead. She must be the one who did this to Master. Never forget. Never forgive. I sense a strange hostility come. You two get colder off the bed. I'll water off. But, Alfred, this is not a game. Be careful. No need to worry. Let's see what you got, darling. Spiders merged. Only one was poisoned.
antidote. I got him. Now let's go. Oliver! You're not going anywhere. Alfred! Kimo! You! Those who dare enter here shall be punished. Damn it. It's no use. She sealed the hole. I'll have to do it again. This should be enough. Hope it works. Can you save her? Can you promise me you'll... you will? What the... Oh, are you awake? Ouch, seriously. I have to be my head that suffers all the time. Anyway, we're stuck here. It looks like Oliver got lucky. How is lucky? He could be kidnapped somewhere by that ghost. You underestimate him. He's a dangerous man. Oh, come on. He's my friend, you know. And I'm done seeing you glare at him all, glare at him all the way from Japan's house. I don't trust him, okay? How is, uh... My master's name is Kuro. Kuro Itsuki. Right, Kuro. It's kind of hard for me when I remember another Japan. Don't worry about that. He gets... He got a lot of cuts from that strange web. His eye doesn't look so good. I'm trying to stop the bleeding. I see. Wait, your bandage! Wait. What is your... It's nothing. Nothing? Why? What happened? I thought you would be more concerned about the fact that I'm not a human. Huh? Really? I kind of gasped with all your notes around in Kuro's house. Oh, you're pretty smart. So I came up with two very accurate theories. One, you're an alien from outer space. Two, kind of creepy, but you're actually a ghost, aren't you? Never mind. I'm a robot. What? Yeah. That's actually really cool. Now would you quit it and let me, let me do my bandages? Let me help. Fine, I need a hand anyways. Okay, hold still. Okay. Talk to me. It's okay to talk to me, you know? You're truly a nice person. Too nice. Uh, it's kind of a turn from your different tone, but thanks. Do you want to hear my story? Of course. In the notes, my sanity went down each time I wrote an entry. Yeah? It's in my system. I suffered from severe damage a long time ago, and I needed it to be fixed regularly. But only Master could do that. It's a distant story. I was a robot uh, made for human entertainment. I was the first model in extreme... It was extremely hard to create such a thing, so my price for my work was often really high. I was the greatest creation, everyone said. I was happy to contribute to society and make them happy. I sang all kinds of songs and danced to so many moves without being tired because I had nothing to do with it. The dream was short-lived. I should have known people just used me for their own good. The creators were happy with the money I made, not myself. So only a matter of time, when people were losing interest in me, they cast me aside. Like a puppet out of order. It turned out I was not the only robot that made. After my first debut, they were trying to make copies. They made other robots for the- not only the purpose- only for the singing and dancing purpose like they used to decide, for the prices of entertainment was- weren't as high as the price of sick fantasies. No consequences ever came from a damaging robot. That you bought. Me too. I was just a toy. Those creators who cared about profit didn't think twice about throwing me into those activities they call pleasure. I didn't do anything wrong. I never failed to make people happy. So why did they do this to me? Day after day, I was thrown into confusion and pain. My voice was once so tender and sweet became stretcherous. And my body became ragged. I never thought about escaping. It was my purpose to help my help human. It wasn't in my... I wasn't able to fight back the system. None of my replica could do it. One day, a man came to meet me. Unlike the others, he sat aside to his katama and took, calmly took a cup of tea. What do you think of this place? He asked. What was I supposed to say? <laughs> that I... That I had been here just like the system told me to? I looked him in the eye and suddenly... Res the sh restraint of my will broke. I gritted my teeth. Disgusting. That never happened to me before. I never said such a word with a hated expression on my face. He smiled. So, you're special after all, the first model. I lowered my head. How the mighty have fallen. Do you think this was your fault? That you wasn't good enough to escape fate? For the first time, I rebelled my word. It wasn't like I could do it. I couldn't do it ever. Never. This wasn't 
say this was just reality created by selfish dreams. He chuckled. Hmm. Talking to you was a good idea. Taking back the black katana with him, he turned his head and a promise on this. Dreams can be crushed. The next day, I was forced to serve again, but after meeting the man, I wasn't emotionless anymore. I grabbed the chain the sick man was trying to use to wrap around, trying to use and wrapped it around the stone. Fortunately, security got me before I could end the. So many robots must be here. Sister was tampered with. We have no use but to discard her now. Now, as if. Even in death, I couldn't be left alone. The creator tried to make use out of me before I was destroyed. With broken sounds coming from my mouth, they squeezed my throat. Then there were three slashing shots. My eyes were washed with blood, and the best way to destroy... The best way to destroy... The dream was to destroy the dreamers. I clutched the knife he gave me and followed him back. I tried to rep rescue a rescue replica of mine, but they all had the systems down. I left. Behind my birthing birthplace. Why me? I asked, trembling. Why did you kill all those other people? Or why did you... I make you kill your own creators? Why did you come to me first? Why did you come to me first? Silence. It was just entertainment. The greatest creation of humanity sent against them. <laughs> it's ironic, isn't it? He said. He was the one who tampered with my system, freed me from my trains. But that was the problem. Once you are a traitor, you will be looked down as one. He fixed me by himself. The materials were mostly gone and unusable after the fire, so for the remaining pieces I was born again in child form to ensure my loyalty. He installed a program to make me depend on him. My sanity weared off each day when I'm away from him. Do you think I'm crazy following such a shady person? Swear my loyalty to him, even though I don't know if it's sincere or not. Some sick joke like Stockholm Syndrome. To be honest, this is not something I could voice my own opinion on. But, I can tell you truly care about him. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes, but I'm a robot. It doesn't matter. Your nature doesn't define your soul. Your face you made when you rushed to Kuru back then? I've seen it so many times for my comrades, my friends, and my family. Kamiro, you're kind. You. How can you? Thank you. All those terrible things I've been through, I've committed, it's not like I can forget them. But at this very moment, a weight is lifted from my chest, my eyes are damp, so the relief and happiness mixing together... Camiro, you're crying. Shut up. It's just about the chin of my eye system. Uh, right. I didn't say anything wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah, what? Jeez, women are so confusing. Don't damp your bandages too much. Alfie, come chan That voice, is that you, Oliver? Oh, thank God I found you. How'd you find us? Y you're not worried about me? That's sad. I chased your peasant and teleport to you. Sadly... With the ancient magic, I couldn't... This wall is blocked with ancient magic, so I couldn't get through. So I used a little bit of my magic to talk about you. How's Sleeping Beauty? Don't call him that. He's still unconscious. But so far, fine. Good, good. See if there's a key on him. A key? I don't see anything like that. Alright. Wait until I come back, okay? There's probably another way to enter that your cell. Be careful, Oliver. Of course, you two stay safe. She'll probably be back. Well, that went well, I guess. I just can't tell them that they're staying near a bunch of unfortunate souls. But I guess I used a little too much of my magic. Now I'm helpless ag against that ghost of America. Funny how both Timothy and Alfred suck at dealing with the supernatural. Looks like she still has nothing. I'll have to take a tack. Then there's only one way to... Finish this ridiculous situation and move on. Time to exercise. <laughs> and this is where we have to leave off. <laughs> so in the next episode, what is Oliver going to do? This is scary. Uh, not really. There was some cooler stuff. 
because it's actually kind of cool. I'll see you all in the next episode. My name is Hannah. It was a pleasure to do this video. See you guys later. Bye!